The U.S. housing market is finally showing signs of recovery in large part because more young adults are finding jobs. Some obstacles persist, credit remains tight, and many consumers lack savings. So the experts are closely watching one generation in particular, one that could hold the keys to the recovery. Here with more on that is Mike Aubrey, a licensed realtor and host of the HG, HGTV show, excuse me, Power Broker. Good morning to you, Mike. Wow, that was a mouthful for Good me. Good morning. How are you? <laughs> so who or what do you see as being behind the housing market uptick? You know, I, I think that, that what's happening right now is there is a baton being passed. Mm -hmm. I think Generation X was really sort of the big sector that was buying houses, and it's being passed right now to the millennials, or at least Hopefully it's being passed as I cross my fingers and say that, you know, what, what, what we're seeing and what I'm concerned about, and I think what a lot of economists are concerned about is, do millennials really have that need for the American dream of home ownership the way that I did and the way that my parents did? Mm -hmm. And I don't know that anybody really knows the answer as to whether or not that's going to happen or not. Yeah. Uh, strict lending standards are one of the things that have been keeping people out of the housing market. Are they easing up at all? Well, I don't know that lending standards are easing up as much as we're seeing down payments get a little bit lower. The Dodd-Frank Act sort of made it a lot harder to get a loan. And, and I think that, you know, what happened in 2005, if you could fog up a piece of glass, somebody yeah. would give you money. And, and the pendulum sort of swung all the way over to the other side. And, and it got to a point where people who had good credit and good assets were having a difficult time getting loans. I think we're seeing things come off just a little bit right now, but I think we've got some more work to do. Let's talk about the Federal Housing Administration annual insurance premiums because they've dropped. They dropped dramatically at the beginning of 2015. Why do you think they changed so much? You know, I think FHA is trying to remain a player in the loan landscape right now. I think what we're seeing is, is that sort of, as I said, everybody's looking to the millennials to revive the real estate market. Right. And while doing that, FHA and conventional lenders want to sort of come up with spaces where people who have good money but don't have a lot of money in the bank yeah are able to buy houses. And I think this is all about attracting that next big group of buyers. Do you think they want to buy, Mike? You know, I, I'm, I'm concerned. I hope so. I think that there's some Zillow data out there that says that most millennials would like to buy a house sometime in the next five years. Mm -hmm. Knock on wood, and I'm looking for a piece. I hope that Zillow's right. It's right. so interesting as they migrate more towards cities, too. A lot yeah. of them don't want to be in the suburbs. Yeah. You, well, and, and you know, uh, the other thing that I think is interesting is that as rents continue to go as high as they are going, right. there's going to be a point where millennials are going to have to look at real estate ownership because it's just going to not make financial sense to not look at it. All right, Mike Aubrey, thanks so much for being with us this morning. Thank you.